Hey there, science fans. Let's talk about a renewable energy source that's making waves offshore wind power. Imagine giant wind turbines, but instead of dotting rolling hills, they're standing tall in the ocean. Pretty cool, right? So how does it work? It's similar to onshore wind power. The wind spins the blades of a turbine, which turns a generator to produce electricity. This clean energy then travels through cables under the sea and onto the power grid, powering our homes and businesses. Offshore wind power is a fascinating example of how we can harness the power of nature. By tapping into the strong, consistent winds blowing across our oceans, we can generate significant amounts of clean energy. This technology holds immense potential for a sustainable future. The most obvious difference between offshore and onshore wind power? Their location. Onshore wind farms are built on land, often in open areas with strong winds. Think wide open plains or hilltops. Offshore wind farms, on the other hand, are constructed in bodies of water, usually in shallow coastal areas. Installing onshore wind turbines is relatively straightforward. We transport the components over roads and assemble them on site. Offshore installations are more complex. We need specialized vessels to transport and install the massive turbine components in the ocean. Offshore wind speeds are generally higher and more consistent than on land. This is because there are fewer obstacles like trees and buildings to slow the wind down. Higher wind speeds translate to greater energy generation. Offshore wind farms can generate more electricity than onshore wind farms of the same size. This is because they can access those powerful, consistent ocean winds. Section 4. The Environmental Scorecard Both onshore and offshore wind power are clean energy sources with minimal environmental impact compared to fossil fuels. However, they do have some environmental considerations. Onshore wind farms can potentially impact birds and bats if not sighted carefully. They can also affect the visual landscape. Offshore wind farms can potentially impact marine life during the construction phase. However, they have minimal visual impact from shore. Section 5. The Upsides of Going Offshore Offshore wind power offers several advantages. First, remember those higher wind speeds? That translates to a greater potential for generating electricity. Second, building offshore frees up valuable land space. This is especially important in densely populated areas. Third, offshore wind farms can be located closer to coastal cities, where a lot of electricity is needed. This reduces transmission losses that happen when electricity travels long distances. Finally, offshore wind farms can be scaled up more easily than onshore wind farms. This means we can build bigger farms and generate even more clean energy. Section 6. The Challenges of Taming the Sea while promising, offshore wind power also faces challenges. The initial costs of building offshore wind farms are higher than onshore, due to the specialized equipment and logistics involved. Maintaining offshore wind farms is also more complex and expensive. There are environmental concerns during the construction phase, such as noise pollution that could disrupt marine life. Finally, there can be technological and logistical barriers, such as transmitting the electricity generated far distances to shore, Section 7. The Future of Wind, a Balanced Approach So, what does the future hold for wind power? I believe a balanced approach is key. Both onshore and offshore wind power have their pros and cons. By strategically developing both we can maximize our clean energy production. We can use onshore wind power in areas with good wind resources and available land. Offshore wind power can be harnessed in areas with excellent wind potential and high energy demands like coastal cities. By combining these two approaches we can create a cleaner, more sustainable energy future.